Stallings read Destruction of Syntax, Imagination Without Strings, Words in Freedom. And then she went on to read Carlo Cara's The Painting of Sounds, Noises, and Smells. What I'm going to do now is, um, as you know, futurism was an international movement. Some of the most important futurist works were not done in Italy, but in Russia by the socialist radicals, Klebnikov, Kruschenik, Mayakovsky, and others. Um, in the Italian part of uh, futurism, a figure that is very important but is often not included in the Italian futurist canon is Minna Loy. Minna Loy, one of the greatest American poets and British poets. Her most important manifesto was never published in her lifetime. It's called the Feminist Manifesto and existed only in manuscript. And I want to just note that th this work, which is equally important to the Futurist Manifesto and its thinking, was only published after her death. Marinetti's Masculinist Manifesto was published in one of the major newspapers of the time. What I'm going to read for you now, which I can't read in the bombastic style of Marinetti, they were lovers, Loy and um, is her, is her, is her. Oh, I like that better. This is much better. Now I'd like to sing some of my favorite Gene Martin songs for you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I'm in tribute to Marinetti. Everybody loves somebody sometime. Everybody. <clears throat> okay, so this is the aphorisms on futurism by Minaloy. It's a somewhat quieter work, not meant to be read in a big hall like this. Die in the past, live in the future. The velocity of velocity arrives in starting, in pressing the material to derive its essence, matter becomes deformed, and form hurtling against itself is thrown beyond the synopsis of vision. The straight line and the circle are the parents of design, form the basis of art. There is no limit to their coherent variability. Love the hideous in order to find the sublime core of it. Love the hideous in order to find the sublime core of it. Open your arms to the dilapidated to rehabilitate them. You prefer to observe the past on which your eyes are already opened, but the future is only dark from outside. Leap into it. It explodes with light. Forget that you live in houses, that you may live in yourself. For the smallest people live in the greatest houses, but the smallest person potentially is as great as the universe. What can you know of expansion who limit yourselves to compromise. Hitherto, the great man has achieved greatness by keeping the people small. But in the future, by inspiring the people to expand to their fullest capacity, the great man proportionately must be tremendous, a god, love of others is the appreciation of oneself. May your egotism be so gigantic that you comprise mankind in your self-sympathy. The future is limitless, the past a trail of insidious reactions. Life is only limited by our prejudices. 
destroy them, and you cease to be at the mercy of yourself. Time is the dispersion of intensivenesses. The futurist can live a thousand years in one poem. He can compress every aesthetic principle in one line. The mind is a magician bound by assimilations. Let him lose, and the smallest idea conceived in freedom will suffice to negate the wisdom of all forefathers. Looking on the past, you arrive at yes, but before you can act upon it, you have already arrived at no. The futurist must leap from affirmative to affirmative, ignoring intermittent negations, must spring from stepping stone to stone of creative explorations without slipping back into the turbid stream of accepted facts. There are no excrescences on the absolute to which man may pin his faith. Today is the crisis of consciousness. 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 Consciousness cannot be spontaneousness, cannot spontaneously accept or reject new forms as offered by creative genius. It is the new form. For however great a period of time, it may remain a mere irritant that molds consciousness to the necessary amplitude for holding it. Consciousness has no climax. Consciousness has no climax. Today is the crisis of consciousness. Let the universe flow into your consciousness. There is no limit to its capacity, nothing that it shall not recreate. Unscrew your capability of absorption and grasp the elements of life whole. Misery is the disintegration of joy, intellect of intuition, acceptance of inspiration. Cease to build your personality with the ejections of irrelevant minds. Not to be a cipher in your ambient, but, but to color your ambient with your preferences. Not to accept experiences at face value, but to readjust activity to the peculiarity of your own will. These are the primary tentatives toward independence. Man is a slave only to his own mental lethargy. You cannot restrict the mind's capacity. Therefore, you stand not only in abject servitude to your perceptive consciousness, but also to the mechanical reactions of the subconsciousness, that rubbish heap of race tradition and believing yourself free. Your least conception is colored by the pigment of retrograde superstitions. Here are the fellow lands of mental spatiality that futurism will clear, making place for whatever you are brave enough, beautiful enough to draw out of the realized self. To your blushing, we shout the obscenities. We scream the blasphemies that you, being weak, whisper alone in the dark. They are empty of your shame. And so these sounds shall dissolve back to their innate senselessness. Thus shall evolve the language of the future through derision of humanity, through derision of humanity, as it appears to arrive at a respect for man as he shall be. Accept the tremendous truth of futurism, leaving all those knickknacks 